Hello our peeps, welcome to the second video uh, in the series of tutorials um, about how to create your own R packages. Um, this one follows on the first basic setup and it will focus on how to add a vignette into your package which is essentially a help file that helps the user to um, see how your functions work see what the input is, what the output is, um, just generally more information and you can include tables and links and images and um, you do all of this in markdown format. So to go into R um, we first need to install a package called knit R. So you spell it like this um, I've already got it installed, but just quickly install it here. Um, I'll just call it up. And what you do now is you use a function called use vignette and you give it a name. Let's just say help file. And when I press enter, you'll see it creates a um, a folder here on the right called um, vignette uh, vignettes here and it gives you a sort of a skeleton so I'll just delete this little bit here and you can change the title and I suggest you have a look at what kind of things you can do in markdown um, so have a look at for instance this markdown cheat sheet and you can get an idea of you know, how to make headings, how to make text bold, um, in italics, uh, lists, links, images, tables. Um, there's a lot of cool things you can do. So let's say I just want to create a quick heading. Um, I'll just call it heading like this. Um, and I want to use some bold text here, maybe say I don't know, introduction and then I want to quickly preview it. Um, you just click this knit R button here and you'll see this come up like so. Um, let's say I want a line here in italics um, information. Um, you'll see when I run this, it hasn't broken the line here. So if you want this to go on the next line, um, you just use this um, this guy, BR for break line, like that. Um, and you'll see it's gone to the next line there. So the nice thing about this markdown files that you can input uh, our code and it actually runs and the user can see that it works and they can see the output and so on. So the format it takes is these three backward facing um, apostrophes and then in curly braces are set up and then in here you will put your code. So we'll load up the library and since our, our package is called type 1 and then we can use the one function we have. So let's say um, we create an object called A. Um, and we say, okay, power. Um, we want to raise 2 to the power 3. And then we want to print that output to the screen. So you'll see if we knit this now, um, you can see the code that was used and you can see the output 2 to the power 3 is 8 and so this is a really nice way um, just to explain your functions and um, yeah it's really worth doing um, let's say you want to input uh, a picture um, you first need to get your picture let's say I want to use this logo um, you need to find the folder that um, contains your R package which is this tut1 and you need to paste that image into the vignettes folder and then um, let's say I want to put it here just after the heading 
uh, the syntax you use is an exclamation mark followed by two square brackets and then these round brackets and you start typing the name and it will come up as a suggestion because it is now in that folder then you press knit R and here it is you can check online how you can uh, manipulate the dimensions but as long as you know how to get it in um, you can play around with a lot of different things uh, what I also wanted to mention was when you actually are creating your own functions and you refer to a pre-existing function in yours the way to do this is to use the the double colons so let's say I make use of um, the ggplot2 package <clears throat> I'll write it out with those two colons and then I will um, make use of one of the functions like that so every single time you use an external package you have to write out the name of that package with the two colons otherwise you'll get errors when you compile your package and leading on from that for every package you use that's external to this you have to include it in your description file so you do this by adding a line in anywhere uh, called imports and here you'll specify what you've used so if it's the mass package for example um, you'll, and you can indicate the version even that it requires so you could say for instance greater than or equal to version 7.3 if there are others you just do the same like that uh, this is really important and then um, if you want to stipulate what version of R you might want the user to have you do that by adding in depends and you say R um, be greater than version 3 uh, then you just save this and install and restart and you can check and yeah, then you've got you've got everything you need and um, just give this a little bit um, and then once you are happy with your package um, you just go to build and you go to build uh, source package and then that will create a zipped folder dot gz file containing everything you need and then that is what you can submit to the CRAN repository when you're ready. So that is the rundown of this. Um, play around with Markdown. Um, really great. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'll make another video now about how to embed your own data into your package. And that is that for this video. I hope it helped. Cheers.